Dear participants and team leaders, we have come to the end of the 32nd International Olympiad in Informatics. I hope this has been an enjoyable experience for you. This Olympiad has been a learning experience for all of us. Holding the competition online is an unprecedented move. We have to find new ways of working on the problems remotely as well as dealing with time differences. Thank you for putting up with these inconveniences and for rising to the occasion. In the past few days, you have used your knowledge and creativity and worked very hard on the problems. Regardless of whether you win a medal this time, I trust that this has been a great learning experience for you. I hope you will continue to contribute to technology development in the years to come. Regardless of the outcome, making it this far in the competition is an accomplishment in itself. I hope you will be proud of your accomplishment. I wish you every success in your endeavours and I look forward to seeing you becoming leaders of tomorrow. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, team leaders and contestants, friends of IOI, welcome to the IOI 2020 closing ceremony. Again, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you might be around the world. First, let me congratulate all the contestants amid the COVID-19 pandemic and government restrictions on social gathering. You have persisted to train and to improve programming skills. You are the reason that there is an, an IOI amid the global crisis. By virtue of being here and competed in this IOI, you have proved to be among the best young problem solvers around the world. After today, you will be part of the prop family of past IOI contestants. As with many before you, use your talent, your skill set, and join up with friends you made along the way together help shape the world of tomorrow. And to all the medalists, I congratulate you for your high achievement. Many hours of hard work and problem solving practices lead to your success. But this is just the beginning. I encourage you to keep the same enthusiasm and the same relentless effort as you tackle bigger and even more challenging problems in the future. As I alluded to in my opening remark, one of the main objectives of the IOI is to discover, encourage, bring together, challenge, and give recognition to young people who are exceptionally talented in the field of informatics. This year, each country has to face and to conquer each extra challenges in order to field a team to participate in this IOI. The IOI is also a challenge to move the competition online while ensuring the integrity of the competition. With collective effort from the host, the three international committees, the team leaders, proctors, and many other volunteers around the world. I'm proud to say that we are true to the spirit of the IOI. So even without cultural trips and social gathering activities, this IOI will be one to be remembered for a long time. Finally, on behalf of the IOI community, I'd like to thank Singapore for all the dedication and professionalism in staging this IOI, which is second to none. The host team pulled double duties and make impossible possible. The IOI community, thank you for a job well done. Thank you, Singapore. As scientists are working around the clock to find vaccines and treatment methods for COVID-19 so that we can again travel freely around the world, we are very much looking forward to gather in Singapore next year in person to celebrate IOI 2021. Until then, stay safe and thank you. It has been very exciting for us at NUS School of Computing to host the 32nd International Olympiad in Informatics. Congratulations to all of you for participating in the Olympiad. Although we were not able to meet in person 
because of the COVID-19 situation. We hope some of you will be able to return to Singapore next year when we will physically host the Olympiad out here. Technology has changed the face of the world, allowing peoples and cultures to communicate across the world. This has become even more critical in light of the pandemic. While we live and work remotely, technology has become that bridge which connects all of us. At NUS School of Computing, we believe if you can create technology, you can change the world. We therefore encourage our students to dream big and pursue their passions so that they could make a difference. For example, some of our students develop smartphone apps, some other students use data analytics in order to improve the quality of healthcare. Yet another set of students build assistive robotics to help elderly live a normal life. We think that students can really make a difference. Therefore, those with innovative ideas, we actually have an incubator center called Furnace, where they can take that technological idea, turn it into a business and start a company which can then help change the world. You all are at the dawn of a remarkable career in computer science and technology. We would be delighted to welcome young talents like you to join our school where you can work and learn with other students from diversity of backgrounds and talented faculty from around the world to make this world a better place. Good luck and all the best till we meet again. Dear participants, organizers and guests of the 32nd International Olympiad in Informatics, I thank you for your strong support and participation. Over the course of the event, we have seen wonderful skills, talent and determination on display. To those who have been awarded medals, we offer our heartiest congratulations. To the others, I urge you not to be disheartened. In every learning journey, there are setbacks. The important thing is to learn from your experience here and to persevere. Improve your skills and knowledge so that next time you will be stronger and better prepared. Next year, Singapore will again have the honour of hosting the IOI. Hopefully, we will meet again in safer and more positive circumstances and we will be able to welcome you directly onto our sunny island. I wish to express our sincere appreciation to the School of Computing, the International Olympiad in Informatics and to all who helped to make this event possible under such difficult circumstances. I hope as well that over the course of the past few days, you have taken the opportunity to form new friendships and strengthen existing ones. As participants of the Olympiad, you have shown yourselves to be exceptionally talented and passionate in the field of computer science and information technology. The world has need of your talent and abilities. And I hope you will find opportunities to contribute to your community and help those around you go further and do better. Often, I find that using our abilities to help others brings the greatest satisfaction and fulfillment. Finally, I would like to wish that everyone Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you. Dear participants of the International Olympiad for Informatics, Computer science as an academic discipline is only seven decades old, but in this short time, computers have transformed our lives. While Moore's law seems to have slowed down in recent years, 
There is no doubt that digital technologies will continue to revolutionize the way we live, work and play. Even before COVID-19, the momentum of change has been gaining pace. While the virus poses many challenges for humanity, it also opens our eyes to many new possibilities. The pandemic has also accelerated digital transformation. We must do our part to ensure that change improves the lives of our people. Change does not leave anyone behind. Change does not worsen existing divides or create new fractures. I hope participating in this Olympiad in the midst of a crisis has inspired you to make a difference in your country and to the world. You have a bright future ahead of you. You are at the forefront of a field that will be critical in a post-COVID world. You have the potential to make the world a better place and you must remember to do so for the better. Each and every one of us can make a difference and working together with your friends, schoolmates and future colleagues in your country and around the world will enable you to make a bigger difference. I understand that this edition of the Olympiad has gone digital. I congratulate the organisers for pulling off a successful virtual competition. Congratulations to all our medal winners and to all participants. Completing this virtual Olympiad is an achievement in itself. While you're not able to travel to Singapore, I welcome you to visit and explore new opportunities here once the crisis is over. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy and keep learning. Hello, I'm Ashley Koo from Team Singapore. This is my first time in IOI. Uh, I wish all contestants have fun. I'm Benson Lin from the Singapore team. Uh, even though I felt that I did below expectations on my day two, I'm still very happy that on my last year I was able to improve from my 2019 performance. I'd like to thank Singapore as well as the ISC and ITC committees of IOI 2020 this year for graciously hosting IOI 2020 online even though due to our current situation. Um, the contest was very tense, however the problems were very interesting to say the least. Thank you Singapore for hosting IOI 2020 online. I really enjoyed the problems. Thank you. Hey, I'm Rajashi. I'm representing India in this year's IUI. Uh, this is quite a unique IUI because it's like online and uh, much different from last year. Um, it's been a fun experience uh, nonetheless. Uh, I like the, both the day's problems. Uh, the most interesting problem today is second problem. Uh, even though I could not solve it, like uh, I spent most of my time on it. I'm deeply impressed by the work done by the host scientific and technical committee. Organizing an online IUI has been an unprecedented challenge, but thanks to their passion and determination, IOI 2020 has been a great success. Hi, it's Ben from the International Committee. Uh, this has been a one-of-a-kind IOI. You should all be immensely proud. Wadem smatsya, can I clap for you? It was very challenging to organize this year's event, and we had to resort to running our first ever online IOI. However, this allowed students to showcase their skills and from what I can see, hopefully everyone had a great IOI week as well. So I'm really thankful that we did it and would like to thank Singapore for hosting this despite all the challenges. And hopefully we'll be able to meet next year in person in Singapore. Thank you.
I hope all you guys had an amazing week last week. Um, I'm sure you guys all tried incredibly hard, uh, both individually and as a team. Congratulations to the winning team. Congratulations to every member of that team. Congratulations for everything that you've achieved over the course of that last week. Um, you know, these are very exciting competitions, you know, things that didn't really exist when I was in high school. So I'm sure you guys all embraced the moment and did your very best. everyone, I'm Jerry So from PayPal. I hope you had an amazing experience participating in the competition. I learned from the organizer that the quality of submission was incredible. I know that many of you were continuing your journey in the technology realm, and I'm excited by the immense opportunity ahead of you. Congratulations to each and every one of you again. I wish you all the best in your future endeavor. Hello and congratulations on taking part in the IOI 2020. One of my fondest memory in life to this day is 20 years ago, taking part in the IOI 2000 in Beijing, uh, where I won a 
a bronze medal for friends, but also really is a memory of meeting everyone, thinking through the problem sets, talking about solutions, algorithms, data structure. So believe me when I say you're going to remember this moment 20 years from now is going to be a vivid memory. And that's not every day in your life that you make those, those kind of memories. Uh, I want to tell you about a project that I have been working on for the past few years called Tezos. Uh, Tezos is a uh, cryptocurrency and decentralized application platform. You may have heard uh, of it. You may have heard of Bitcoin, which is a very famous uh, cryptocurrency. And these are projects in the same vein. What's really specific about Tezos is that the project has been designed for self-improvement. That is, um, instead of having just a fixed set of rule that determines how it works, the rule incorporates mechanisms for their own change. So we call it a self-amending blockchain. What's really interesting here is that you may look at the different problems you have, all the things you're studying for the IOI and say, well, when am I ever going to meet, uh, you know, need this? And it's true that today a lot of programming is really about refactoring large code bases, um, developing front ends, uh, uh, connecting to databases. There's not oftentimes a whole lot of computer science in it, or there are other things like statistics or you know, physics when you're doing scientific computing. The uh, blockchain cryptocurrency area is very interesting because this is where a lot of theoretical computer science, um, cryptography, distributed system series are actually coming and finding real world application. Uh, it, it, it's really striking how quickly things are moving from research labs to actual implementation. So if you're thinking like, when am I going to need um, you know, uh, graph algorithms, uh, uh, minimum pass length search, uh, dynamic programming, all of that, we actually like use this directly uh, in the algorithm that we're building for making blockchains faster, for making them more scalable, for making them more secure. Uh, Tezos is not a company, it's a decentralized blockchain. It's an open source project, meaning that there are many people around the world that contribute uh, to make it work. And I think that you should contribute too. Um, take a look, there's a lot of interesting problems uh, that uh, we still need to solve. There's a lot of open uh, questions. You can find more out about the project by going to um, tezos.com or you can email me directly. Um, my email is Arthur B at Tizos.com. That's A R T H U R B at Tizos.com. If you're interested in Tizos, uh, email me. Let's start a discussion because it's a really cool project and I really think you'd enjoy working on it. Thank you. Subhash, IT Director for Manufacturing Operations at Micron Semiconductor Singapore. Thank you for participating in IOI 2020. I hope you're encouraged to discover 
more about the world of informatics through the competition and interaction with fellow competitors. I would like to congratulate all the contestants for coming forward boldly to challenge yourself at the international level. Well done to each one of you. Thank you. From here, with a fresh new start. A group of aspiring young people are about to blaze a new trail. To explore the unknown, exceed limits. And embrace adversity. Keep running. Hear the stirring call inside your body. Lies up the way taken by the brave. path. 
you are to forge it. Be brave. Be curious. Be determined. To be passionate. Conquer time and inspire the world. IOI 2020 gold medalist, congratulations for your high achievement. National University of Singapore is pleased to announce a new set of scholarships for IOI 2020 gold medalists. We are looking forward to see you in National University of Singapore School of Computing. Thank you. Congratulations, Wellen, for becoming the overall winner of IOI 2020. Thank you. So how do you feel about your great achievement in this special IOI at an uh, extraordinary town? I feel like with the entire situation, everything's not optimal. A lot of things were, could still go on. For example, I could still come here to Tainan and visit all of the great attractions here, and as well as have a good IOI. So I feel like everything worked out in the end. Oh, great. So when do you know that uh, you scored 600 points? I knew that like uh, 45 minutes before the end of the second contest. And I was actually surprised that I scored uh, 600 points. I did not expect my, uh, my solution to pass, but it actually did for some reason, which was great. So when did you find out about being the overall winner? You had to stay up to yeah. find out, right? Yeah, um, 
So Kanta's ended at 12 a.m. here, and then the scoreboard like wasn't released to the public for a very long time, and then it wasn't until 1.30 a.m. that the scoreboard was finally released. And then, yeah, I saw the standings, I was happy, and then I somehow managed to stay up until 5 a.m. Ah, okay, that's good. Okay, so you are a two-time winner. Well, last year you were a silver medalist. Yeah. And this year, of course, you are the overall winner. So how do you train to become a world champion? So, uh, first off, uh, I just simply had more practice to do. And then second, there's also the factor of uh, luck. Basically, uh, this year, my strategy, I think, was a bit like was a bit more refined than last year. So um, last year it was much more easier for me to screw up than it, w it was for this year. Ah, okay. So you have more practices. Yeah, you have more experience. Yeah. Okay. And the task is easier. Uh, no? I think I think I think the tasks were in my favor. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's next in your academic endeavor then? Well, I don't know much, but um, I know that I'm currently a freshman at MIT studying computer science. Mm. So, yeah, I'll probably keep uh, studying computer science and see where that takes me in the future. Okay, great. Uh, any word or suggestions for uh, fellow IOI uh, competitors? Um, just uh, keep practicing hard and hope that you get lucky one day. <laughs> no, I, I think... Uh, uh, you did a wonderful job. It's not locked. The tests were very, very difficult, very challenging, and you are definitely a uh, world champion of IOI 2020. Congratulations. Thank you.